Hello boys and girls, welcome back for another reading lesson with Miss Kim. I want you to press pause and bring your book, Plants and Animals in Their Habitats. You're going to be reading um, in this uh, textbook and so it's important that you bring it. We've been learning about all the different kinds of habitats in this world. Last time we learned about grassland, we also learned about tundra. Um, thank you for those who submitted their work on Seesaw. Last time we read the text and we wrote all the different facts that we learned about Tundra. Um, I will show you an example of two students who wrote a list of facts that they learned about Tundra. This student learned that in Tundra it's very cold, that Tundras are found in North and South Pole. The largest Tundra is called the Arctic Tundra. In the Arctic tundra, you can find polar bears, foxes, seals, and oxen. Lastly, in the winter, the ground freezes. Thank you for writing at least five facts. Another student wrote many facts. Um, she wrote a whole list of all the things that she learned about tundra, lots of new information. Excellent job for this student. It's not too late to do your work. Make sure you read um, Plants and Animals in Their Habitats. Um, and when you open your book, you're going to learn about um, tundra and grasslands. And so try to write uh, the facts about these two habitats and submit your work on Seesaw. Today, we're going to be learning about rainforest. So look at this picture. What do you notice? What do you see in the rainforest? Um, I'm sure some of you already know um, maybe things about rainforest. Maybe you know what kind of animals live in there, um, what the weather is like in the rainforest, um, how do animals survive in this habitat. Um, so what I want us to do is we're going to be um, opening to pages 23 and 24. You're going to be reading this on your own and you're going to try to write as many facts that you learned about rainforest. However, before you do that, you're going to do a KWL chart again. You're gonna go on Seesaw and do this. So K, what does K represent? K is, what do you know about rainforest? So these are facts that you already know about rainforest before you read the text. So write all the things that you learned about rainforest in the K box. For W, these are questions you have about rainforest. What do you wonder about rainforest? I want you to try to at least ask five questions that you have about rainforest. I'll give you an example. Question one, what kind of animals live in, in the rainforest? That's a good question. Another question you can ask is, does it rain a lot in the rainforest? So here I want you to write at least five questions. Lastly, after you read pages 23 and 24, after you read the text, the text, we're also going to watch a video about the rainforest. So after you read the text and watch a video about the rainforest, what did you learn about the rainforest? So these are things that you learn after you read the text and um, and watched and watched a video. After you read the text and watch a video about the rainforest, what did you learn about the rainforest? So you have to read the text and watch the video. Make sure that your inf the information that you learn is only coming from the text and from the video. So that I know that you read the text and I know that you watched the video. Um, write at least five facts. Write at least five facts that you learned. I would challenge yourself, maybe you can write 10 facts that you learn. Um, when you read the text and watch the video, there's gonna be lots of new information that you will learn about rainforest. So we're gonna watch the video now. Pay attention to it.
shrouded in a blanket of clouds, they awaken. Their canopies of green glitter in the sun. Their wildlife start to slither, chirp, crowd, and one of the planet's richest ecosystems comes to life. Rainforests are the oldest living ecosystems on the planet. Some can trace their origins to over 70 million years ago, back to a time when dinosaurs still roamed the earth. While the giant reptiles have disappeared, rainforests continue to thrive, growing on every continent except Antarctica. Two types of rainforests are scattered across the globe, temperate and tropical. Temperate rainforests are mainly found in the mid-latitudes, often near cooler, coastal, mountainous regions. Tropical rainforests are primarily located in warmer climates, between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. As their names imply, temperate and tropical rainforests are the wettest forests on Earth, receiving up to about 33 feet of rain per year. This precipitation plays a critical role in creating an exceptionally lush and biologically diverse habitat. So compared to all of the different kinds of habitats, we learned that in the rainforest, it rains a lot. So that's one question that we answered. Does it rain a lot in the rainforest? Yes, it rains very heavily. While rainforests only make up about 6% of the Earth's surface area, they are home to over half of the world's plant and animal species. This biodiversity creates benefits that extend far beyond the rainforest boundaries. Rainforest plants produce an assortment of food items, in addition to ingredients useful in everyday products and medicines. In fact, an estimated 70% of the plants used in cancer treatments are only found in rainforests. On an even larger scale, rainforests help to stabilize the planet's climate. Their high amounts of moisture evaporate into low-lying clouds that reflect solar radiation and lead to cooling. Over the past few centuries, rainforests have disappeared at an alarming rate. Factors such as economic inequalities, human development, and demand for natural resources have fueled the deforestation of these rich ecosystems. At the current rate, rainforests, which have survived for over 70 million years, may completely disappear within the next century. But through educational campaigns, sustainable logging practices, in cooperation with local communities, deforestation may begin to slow down, helping preserve rainforests for many generations to come. Wow, that's a lot of new information that we learned. And we learned the importance of rainforests um, for our world. Um, a lot of our ingredients come from rainforests. Even um, treatments for cancer comes from these plants that only come from rainforests. However, what's happening is that the process of deforestation, meaning that people are cutting down these trees and um, harming rainforests. And it's very important that we make sure that we protect our animals and plants and protect this habitat. So I hope you learned a lot from this video. I want you to write um, all of the facts that you learned after you watch this video and after you read the text. Remember to read pages 23 and 24 about rainforest. And I'll see you next time, boys and girls. Bye.